You look like you could use some help getting organized. Today on App Judgment, we're looking at Evernote and Note Everything Pro for the Android. App Judgment is brought to you by GoDaddy. Hey everyone, and welcome to App Judgment, your source for mobile app reviews from Revision 3. I'm Andy Gauss. We could all use a little help getting organized. Luckily for the scattered brains among us, there are tons of productivity apps out there to help you keep track of all those loose ends. So today we're looking at two for the Android, Note Everything and Evernote. Note Everything is a note-taking application with a free version and a pro version that will run you about three pounds or about 450 in US dollars. What does Note Everything Pro do? It lets you take notes in a variety of different ways, organize, consolidate, and export them. Let's see how it works. Once you've purchased Note Everything Pro, it automatically takes the place of the free version if you've already installed that one. As with the free version, you can create a new note and choose from a bunch of different options like text, voice notes, paint notes, and gallery notes that borrow from your photo collections. Photo notes and durable checklists are a couple of the features available only in the pro version. Let's create a durable checklist, for example, which are designed for repeating checklists like for your weekly trip to the grocery store. You can add items and check them off once you've taken care of it, organizing them according to need and done. You also have the option of adding a reminder, sharing the note via Google Docs or by barcode, or sending it to yourself via email. Back on the home screen, you'll also find some import and export options for your notes. You can bring outside notes into the app and export and back them up via your SD card or as a zip file. By pressing on the note, you have the option of deleting, moving it to a folder, or sending it through Bluetooth, Facebook, Gmail, etc., sending it to your calendar or Google Docs, or sharing it via barcode. If you have barcode scanner installed, it will generate a barcode for your note, which is pretty cool. You can also encrypt notes, adding a password if you have any sensitive or private information. Also interesting is the shortcut feature. If there's something important or pressing for you to remember, or if you need a quicker reference, you can create a shortcut that will then show up front and center on your home screen. You can also create folders, although I found this feature to be very inefficient. When you create a note, there's no option to add it to a folder, which would seem like the logical point to add it to the folder. The design of the app doesn't really lend itself to this feature, at least as well as it does the sharing, sending, and note sticking options. The folders don't really seem that useful to me. So how does Note Everything Pro compare to Evernote? We'll be right back in a sec, but first let's thank our sponsor. Get reliable, secure web hosting without the long-term contract. GoDaddy's hosting plans are bigger and better than ever with 99% uptime, free 24-7 support, and no annual commitment. Check out revision3.com slash GoDaddy for a list of all the amazing GoDaddy deals from Revision 3. And use the code JUDGE8 at checkout to get 10% off any order. Okay, so I gave you the basics on Note Everything Pro, an app with a pretty wide range of functions to help you get organized. Now let's take a look at Evernote, a well-known productivity service with versions on practically every mobile and web platform. Evernote's interface is very calming and pleasant, showing you four options on the home screen. As with Note Everything, you can create new notes using snapshots, text notes, audio notes, or you can upload files from other places on your phone. Once you've created a note, you then tag it so you can easily search for it later and save it to one of your notebooks. In the settings, you can attach a location to your notes automatically if you find that helpful, although they do point out that this will result in a drain on your battery. Back on the home screen, you can search for notes using a bar along the top. It will then pull up all the notes containing that keyword. Within a note, you can also choose to email it. As you can see, Evernote is very simple and straightforward and does not have a lot of the bells and whistles that you'll get with Note Everything Pro. And ironically, a lot of the advantages to using Evernote are not within the app itself. When you sign up for the service, you have access to a desktop version as well, for both Windows and Mac, and for iPhone, Android, Blackberry, Palm, and Windows Mobile. There's also a premium service that gets you more data and a few added features. So while I may not have the complex import, export, and sharing options that you get with Note Everything Pro, I probably won't need them since the account syncs automatically so I can access my notes anywhere. The one peeve I had with Evernote for Android is that you can't create new notebooks within the app the way you can do on the web version. So what's the verdict on these two? Well, the strong points of Note Everything Pro are the sharing, sending, and export options, and the fact that you can create shortcuts on your home screen or your toolbar for important stuff like shopping checklists. The cons to Note Everything Pro are that the design felt clunky, mainly owing to the folders feature, which was not as well integrated as I'd hoped. You do get a lot of features with Note Everything Pro, but for around 450, I wasn't convinced that I would actually use it all that much. In fact, I think it's possible to actually have an excess of features in an organization-oriented app. The problem being that you have to be organized already to get anything out of it. So don't download Note Everything Pro. Evernote has a much cleaner design and the advantage of a companion web version so you can access and manage your notes from anywhere. The cons are that you can't create notebooks from within the app and it's pretty stripped down compared to Note Everything. I did miss the checklist feature, for example. However, it is free and syncs across all platforms, so go ahead and download Evernote. 
I have not tried the premium account, but so far Evernote alone is good enough for me. Now you may find that you prefer having some of the features included in Note Everything Pro, in which case try out the free version first. But having had both on my phone for a couple weeks, I found myself settling in with Evernote. But are there any productivity apps that you can't live without? Let us know at appjudgment at revision3.com. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and on our homepage at revision3.com slash appjudgment. Thanks for watching.